Weinberg Fan Fitness, Seattle's number one health and fitness experts, and today I'm coming to you from my kitchen so I can share with you how to make a healthy, delicious meal so you can become your best self and feel amazing and look great and eat great as well. So today I'm going to share with you how to make protein pancakes. This is incredibly easy. You're only going to need three ingredients. I'm going to hold over one of them right here. And these protein pancakes, man, you can make them quick. You can eat them. You can freeze them for later. All the good things. It's awesome. Okay, so here's what you need. One banana, peanut butter, protein powder. Three eggs. All right, we've got all our ingredients. We're ready to make these delicious protein pancakes. So I like to just throw all the ingredients in the blender, blend them up. It's much simpler than giving yourself carpal tunnel by stirring them all up in a bowl. So drop my eggs in there. Throw in my banana. Last but certainly not least, if you, just a scoop of peanut butter is gonna be good. Did I say scoop? You know, just two scoops of peanut butter is gonna be just perfect, not, nothing crazy. And as you're blending this, or even as you're stirring it, if it feels like it's, you know, you've overdone it and it's too thick, you can add a little almond milk in there. And if it's, if it's too thin, then add a little more protein powder, or add a little bit of peanut butter to kind of tighten everything up. So here we go. Let's blend this bad boy, and uh, then we'll pour it into the pan, and we'll get these protein pancakes going. All right, we're back. We've blended our ingredients. It is a perfect little mixture. So we've got the frying pan going. I'm gonna put in just a little bit of coconut oil to fry up my pancake. They do give it a little hint of a coconut taste, which I don't mind, I actually like. So if you don't want in there, you can use butter, you can use some vegetable oil. But I like the coconut oil, it helps me get those healthy fats that we do really need. And make sure that's spread around well. And then of course the next step is we're just going to pour in our batter onto the frying pan. Alright. And the nice thing about these protein pancakes, of course you can eat them right now, but man they store really well and they travel really well. So you can make yourself a big batch, this is going to be enough for five pancakes. And I'm not going to eat them all right now, I'll eat one or two, and then I can throw the rest in the fridge and I can eat them later. Throw them in some tin foil, bring them with you to work as a healthy um, protein rich snack, okay? So we've got this grilling up now. Check on our pancake here. I think it is about time for a flip. Totally. Get it all the way underneath it. Bam! There it is, like a pro! Turn that bad boy over, golden brown on top. Wait till this underside is ready, and then we're gonna be good to go. Alright, we flipped our pancake. It is golden brown and delicious on both sides. And we'll add that onto our plate. Now this is the most important part because you've made a pancake which is actually good for you. So don't throw away all the positive ingredients in here by covering it in a pound of butter and syrup. You've got a couple options. You can put a little syrup on there. What you can also do is a little bit of butter and honey and that's gonna keep it you know, in the healthy range. You know, if this is a pancake that's healthy, right? Can be a contradiction, but if you just keep it simple with some butter and honey, it's still going to be good for you. You're covering your protein with the egg and the peanut butter and the protein powder itself. This is delicious. Let's get started. I can't wait. You can even eat it um, without anything on there because it has a flavor, the vanilla flavor from the protein and the peanut butter, and it's, it's delicious. So get yourself some, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.